Hello everyone. The co-working space management app helps you to manage and co-working space. Revenue management and business health can be tracked where a complaint management is timely manner can be done and payment collection streamline can be done. Easy to manage co-working space activities from the dashboard and manage multiple co-working space structure, flows, amenities with their categories, seats with their categories and policies with their categories, space members, membership with their invoices as well as the payment. Now let's start this by configuring an access rights for the co-workers. So for that let me get into the settings. Under user and companies we can see end users. So let me get into the Mitchell admin first. Okay. Under user configurations, user how to enable manager and user in the name of co-workers. So from here you can see end co-working. So for this co-working we need to give whether the user is a manager or else the user. So after enabling this option, user can see end co-working space module right away here. Okay. So from here you can see end co-working dashboard. So for that we need to get into that. So from here, manager can easily manage the space activities like total members, total memberships, available memberships, and also you can see an occupied memberships as well. Now let's create an co-working space structure. So for that, we need to get into the configurations. Under that, we can see and structures. Let me get into that. So manager can create and multiple co-working space structures right away here by clicking on the create option which is available. Okay. So for co-working space structure we need to give the sequence name as well as we need to give the total seats. Now let's create and co-working space flow. So for that we need to get into the configurations under that we can see and flow where we can create and multiple co-working space floors. And also we can manage and co-working amenities categories. So for that we need to get into the configurations under that we can see and amenities categories. Let me get into that to create an amenities categories. So from here we can create an amenities categories and like the same way we can create and co-working space amenities. So for that we need to get into the amenities and from here we need to create an amenities name as well as we need to give the category and from here we need to give an cost price for that particular amenities okay now let's create or manage the co-working space so for co creating and co-working space we need to get into the configurations under that we can see and co-working space we need to get into that where manager can create and multiple co-working space with the selection of the space structure floor their policies and seats so for that let me get into the one which i have already created so from here user can see there we can add an as name structure floor as well as from here we need to create a new policies okay so for creating policies we need to get into the configurations under that we can see and policies so for creating policies we need to create an uh, category first so let me create an category so this is the place where we can create and policies categories okay so from here we have created the categories and then let's create and policies so for creating policies we need to get into the configurations under that we can see and policies where we can create and policies right away here so for creating policies we need to give n space name as well as the pro uh, policy category and from here we need to give the amount and also the uh, terms and conditions right away here so once this is done we can create an seat category so from here we can see and seat category needs to be created so after creating the seat category we need to enable this seat category into the seats so for creating seat we can see a seats right away here so these are the seats that i have created and also there we i have enabled and seat categories right away here so after completing all the configurations, let's create and manage the co-working space members. So for creating and members, we need to get into the members. Under that, we can see a members menu. Let me get into that. So from here, you can see these are the members that we have already created. Like manager can create and multiple co-working space members with its details. So let me get into one of the member that I have already created. So from here, you can see I have created a member and from here, we can give a details if needed. Now let's create and manage the co-working space membership. So for creating and membership, we need to get into the members. Under that, we can see and memberships. Let me get into the menu. So from here, you can see these are the memberships that I have already created. So let me get into the one of the memberships that we have already created. Okay. 
so from here we can see and uh, this is the membership that we have already created so manager can create and multiple co-working space membership with its details and also manager can create and co-working space memberships in that ended required details for selecting and duration type so du duration type will be an uh, hours, day, week, month, half daily and year based on the duration type the cost can be calculated accordingly okay so now let's create an co-working membership invoice so for creating an invoice we need to get into the invoicing and from here let's create a new invoice okay so from here we need to give the name and also from here we need to select end membership so manager can create and co-working space membership invoice where they can do and add an amendees also so from here we can see i have added a golden membership right away here and also by adding a new line i can add an amendees as well okay so like this you can add an uh, in membership as well as the amendees right away here so once this is done let me save this one and let's confirm it now we can see the same invoice right away there in the memberships that we have already created so let me get into the membership again which is a golden membership yes this is the invoice that we have created now okay so manager can click on the view invoice button under the invoice lines tab of co-working space membership where payment can be done in this way so from here let me get into the view invoice so and also the user can see the status of it whether it is paid or not and also you can see the total amounts and other more details of creating the invoice so let me get into the invoice now okay now you can see and register payment option let's do the payment okay so from here user can see that status will be changed to paid state okay after completing the payment and also user can see in the policies tab manager can view automatically updated co-working space membership policies right away here and also like the same way user can see and customer payments so for managing the customer payments we need to get into the invoicing where under the customers we can see and payments that we have created okay so from here you can see all the customer payments that we have already generated so in this way we can efficiently manage co-working space management with this module thank you for watching